very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking yes what you are seeing here is correct we actually have made last week more than 930 pips of profits delivered to our clients in the extreme trader forex signals group on telegram now of course there is a reason why the signals have been so much improved and we are very happy because right now we are on the right track but of course before i explain to you the reason why the signals have been improved um, allow me to share with you first the results directly from our premium group on telegram so as we can see these are the signals that we have sent last monday as we can see almost all of them have went in the deep profit actually almost all of them have went in the take profit number two making in that day alone more than 180 pips of profit then the day after i'm sharing with all the results with you guys right here i'm being very transparent and honest with everyone and i wanted to share with you that on tuesday was actually fantastic day and almost not almost all of the signals have reached uh, the take profit number three except uh, one of them of course and in that day alone we have made more than 350 pips of profit only in that day alone then the day after these are the results that we have sent uh, as you can see 90 pips of profit plus uh, sorry minus uh, 10 pips of loss meaning 80 pips of profit on wednesday then these are the signals that we have sent last thursday as you can see most of them actually are uh, in deep profit and uh, pound jpy have reached uh, the take profit number three 120 pips alone making in that day about 290 pips of profit then friday uh, we have made about 65 pips of profit as you can see right in front of your eyes now what happened why did the signal has signals have been so much improved actually me and angela have made a meeting and since our signals most of them are depending on the breakouts and the continuation we have discovered a way that actually we can combine the price action with Fibonacci retracement and by that we can confirm if the market is going to continue the rise or continue the fall we have put this way on a test for the past two weeks and the results were amazing and we decided that we're going to apply this new method on the last week's signals and as you can see this is the outcome this is the results and i'm very very proud of our work extreme trader forex signals are back and i'm very happy because our results right now uh, hopefully it's gonna always be going up and no more ups and downs hopefully we are going to have the same performance as long as we can so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now on the euro usd on the daily chart the very first thing we can notice right here that the pair has actually failed for multiple days to break out from that long-term resistance on 1.1930 um for the past uh, two weeks I, I would say uh, the pair actually has failed to break out from that level then finally this week uh, on the last uh, tuesday and wednesday and thursday the market has shown here a strong bearish candles on continuation however on friday the market was able also to close as a small green candle this is this green candle here doesn't mean anything at all i think it's just reversing right here from that support level on 1.17598 however euro usd is on its way in my opinion is on its way to retest that broken support level right here on 1.1834 most likely the pair is going to continue the rise just to hit that previous support level retesting the broken support level and then actually going to continue the fall in general euro usd says sell we have to look for the perfect moment to start shorting this pair and if i see carefully here we can see that we had here also a resistance level uh, which actually has become a new support as well in the case of course not to mention this support level right here in the case that most likely the euro usd is going to reverse exactly from that point not only that we can see that the pair actually was moving here in this uh, bearish trend channel as you can see this channel actually the pair was moving inside this channel if uh, then eventually has actually fallen below that channel most likely this is what is going to happen the market going to rise to read this the, the broken uh, support level on this channel and after that it's going to continue the fall so in my opinion all of the analysis says your usd is for the short that being said uh, we can switch now to the four hour time frame 
to see this carefully right here we can see that we had here a previous support level exactly right here and what we can see right here this is the support level and what we can see right here that the same the same support level has become already a resistance attempt with what we have here is resistance number one so we can expect right now from the euro usd to continue the rise just to create another attempt of the resistance meaning resistance number two and after that level or actually after hitting that level we can start shorting the pair that being said euro usd is for the short at 1.18345 and of course, regarding the safe zone, the safe zone shouldn't be actually ranging for so much. I mean, we can depend on that previous support level right here as a maximum, because this is where the pair most likely is going to continue the rise if, if it's going to ever happen. So we can make it actually about 42 pips. But just for this, for, for just being safe more, I'm going to increase it a little bit more to make it about 50 pips, which is again, really fair enough. 54, 54 pips is really fair enough. And hopefully this is not going to happen. I mean, the pair most likely is going to continue the fall right away. Now, regarding the target, if the pair actually going to reverse exactly from where I'm expecting, then our tech profit level, look at the, the mouse cursor, the most likely is going to be the next support level, which is exactly right here on that previous support level. So we are actually going to be aiming about uh, 116 pips of profit from this signal on the Euro USD. Therefore, take profit level going to be 1.1718. I really hope it's going to work very well. And of course, guys, please keep your eyes on the market because anything can happen. Anything can happen actually to change the outcome of this signal. So please, please be extra caution when you are trading. Um, as I'm telling always, just because this signal coming from extreme trader doesn't mean that it's going to be 100% profitable. There is always a room for the losses. Uh, last week actually was not good, to be honest with everyone. I admit uh, I have missed uh, read the market. I actually have missed read the market. And sadly, uh, many of the signals uh, went um, in loss. Um, I accept, I think, USD CAD, but however, I believe this weekend hopefully is going to be very good and hopefully we will make good profits. So, of course, uh, hopefully this is going to be a very good signal and hopefully we will make good profits with it. Let's now take a look at the pound USD. Now, regarding the pound USD, as we can see on the daily chart as well, the pair actually has made a strong bearish breakout candle on last Tuesday. Then actually we can see here on last Thursday and Friday, the market actually has went up and and on its way to retest that broken support level on 1.38211. Now, if we look on the bigger picture, let's go to the weekly chart for the pound USD. As you can see right here, the pound actually has failed to break out from that long term resistance on 1.42409. If I'm not mistaken, actually, I have mentioned this before that this is exactly where we can start shorting the euro, the pound USD. I think I said they said this several weeks ago. But however, what we are seeing right here on the weekly chart, most likely the pound USD on its way to go down. And I think the pound USD uh, is going to be very good for the short this week. So therefore, let's go on now to the four hour time frame. And as we can see right here, we are having here a strong support level uh, on 1.38211. This is exactly where we are going to start short the pair. And our safe zone has to be right here ranging just a little bit above that resistance level right here. So therefore, uh, let me just set for you the safe zone as well. So this is the signal we are going to start shorting the pound USD right here. And the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 60 pips. And hopefully it won't even exceed that level. Exactly like that. So uh, the sell for the pound USD 1.38211 as well. And the take profit level, I want to make the take profit level exactly at that support level where the pound USD actually has bounced because most likely this is where the pair is heading to. And therefore, we are we're going to be aiming about 140 pips, hopefully going to be a very good profit. Take profit level 1.36794. There goes your signal for the pound USD. And I hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's now take a look at the AUD USD. Now, the very first thing we can notice here on the AUDUSD that the pair actually managed to make a breakout from that long sub long term support trend line. Exactly like this. As you can see, the pair actually has made here on last Wednesday, oh, sorry, on last Thursday, the bearish breakout from that long term support trend line on the daily chart. And as you can see right now, the pair is on its way to retest the broken support trend line. 
most likely this is exactly where the pair is gonna be falling uh, sorry gonna reverse and it's gonna start falling and therefore this is where we will start shorting the uh, AUD UST now let's take a look at the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can notice that the very same level where I have drawn my line here was a very strong also support level right here as you can see and also right here. This is the support where the AUD USD uh, going to retest and after that we can start shorting the pair. Now I know that I'm not going so deep in this analysis because I, again I'm trying my best to not make the videos so long. Um, thankfully I'm seeing very nice comments telling me that it's okay to keep the videos long but however I know um, the majority don't like very long videos so I'm just trying to go uh, with them. So so 0 0.7661 is where we are going to start shorting the AUD USD and the safe zone has to be ranging just a little bit above that previous support level because if the pair actually has managed to go above that support trend line most likely it means that the pair actually or the retest of the broken support level has actually failed and the pair actually going to continue the rise that's the reason we are going to select this uh, support level as the edge of our safe zone so it's going to be ranging for about 47 or 46 pips only which is really fair enough so there goes uh, not yet wait we need now regarding regarding the take profit level very similar similar to the pound usd i'm going to select my previous uh, or sorry the previous support level where the pair actually has reversed this is exactly where we are going to start um or sorry we're going to set our take profit level exactly where, where the pair has reversed on the support level so we're going to be aiming about 100 uh sorry 100 we're going to aim about um 900 96 only 96 next 96 pips of profit take profit level gonna be 0 0.7 um 5695 there goes your signal for the AUD USD and I hope also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's take a look at the USD CAD. Now the very first sight of, of the USD CAD you might think that the pair is actually gonna continue the fall but let's now move to the weekly chart. So now I'm here on the weekly chart and please pay attention to this price action on the weekly chart. Look at this price action right here after uh, reversing from that very strong key support level on 1.25280 it's very obvious that the AUD the USD CAD is going to continue the rise right after hitting that previous support level and remember on the weekly chart we are having here a very strong pin bar a uh, bullish pin bar now let's go back to the daily chart now on the daily chart we can see that right here we had here a broken resistance level and most likely this is where the pair is going to right now it's gonna retest that broken support level if i'm not mistaken this is gonna be fibonacci 61.8 as well uh no sorry uh 23.6 it's almost right there i believe it's gonna reverse on 38.2 which was also the same level of that strong support level right here uh it's almost on the same level of uh, where we are going to start buying the pair therefore this is the pair uh, this is the level where we are going to start buying uh, the usd cad let's now move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can see that clearly the nearest support to this bullish breakout candle is exactly right here this is the reason why i'm selecting this level and also we can see that right here the market has already created a support number one this long tail right here represents a support number one and of course as i'm telling you always the longest the tail the strongest the level meaning that the pair actually has shown here a reaction to that level of that previous support and most likely the pair right now is going in its, is on its way to create a support number two but of course guys we have to pay attention to the price action always never ever set pending orders never ever just place the trade immediately once the candle touches that level we have to be logic about about uh, make, uh, uh, picking our trades so just be sure that you are seeing a reaction of the candle that the candle actually has uh, eventually closed on the one hour time frame or 30 minute time frame if the candle actually has a closed as a pin bar then you can start buying the pair just don't buy immediately don't rush to the to, to enter this trade please be careful my friends I'm, I'm telling you always don't ever set pending orders because you are not sure how the market is going to react to these levels there is a possibility that the market actually might continue the fall until hitting that support level the lowest level of the support right here actually i'm also thinking to make this as my entry but the problem is 
95 pips far away which doesn't make any sense for me i don't think the pair is gonna fall that much especially with the strength that the usd is gaining right now therefore we are going to swim with the flow and deciding to start buying the usd cad exactly from that support level therefore uh, usd is gonna be good for the buy usd cad uh, at 1.25280 um that's the the edge of the safe zone has to be ranging exactly right here at the lowest uh, level of the support as i have mentioned before so we can make it exactly right here perfect this is where i told you that the pair most likely is going to continue the fall not most likely i mean if in case it's gonna have it's gonna happen it's gonna fall until that level let me just make it about 50 pips only there is no need to make it more than that 55 what's okay I'm, i can live with that number so this is exactly where the, we can see the, our our uh, the safe zone and the take profit level has to be of course at the peak of the resistance right here exactly at 1.26265 so we're going to be aiming about uh 102 pips uh, of profit um from this trade so the take profit for the usd cad 1.26285 there goes your signal for the usd cad and i hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's take a look at the usd gpy now the first impression about the USTGPY that the pair is moving right now is in a, in a very strong bullish momentum. And if I'm not mistaken, USTGPY is gonna continue the rise until it reaches 110.740. No less than, no sooner than that. And what we can see right here is that the market actually has made a reaction on the peak of the resistance at 109.674. Now, I don't think that the USDGPY is going to be able to fall all the way to that support level. No, 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 no. This is not going to happen. Most likely, the USDGPY have to actually just make a pullback, retesting the broken resistance level right here on 109.369. And not to mention, of course, that the very same level was also the peak of the resistance um, on 22nd March 2020. Most likely, this is what will get what will gonna happen with the USDGPY. It's actually gonna make a pullback. It's gonna fall for another um, 32 or 31 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy. Let's now move to the four-hour time frame. Exactly, on the four-hour time frame, we can see that this candle has appeared, this red candle. This the price action of this candle usually indicates a bearish reversal. Most likely, the pair is actually going to continue the fall, as I said before, just to hit the peak of that previous resistance, retesting it, and we have to wait to see the outcome. We have to wait and see how the market is going to react to that level. If we see any sign, that, such as a pin bar or a doji, that the market is reversing, then we can start entering this trade with the buy order. And uh, let me just show you where we can start exactly buying. So USDGPY is for the buy at 109.369. Now, regarding the safe zone, the safe zone actually should be, I mean, if the pair actually has failed to, to um, reverse exactly at that previous resistance, we can expect from the pair to continue the fall to reverse at least at that previous support level so put in your mind that maybe the pair actually might fall just right here to revisit that support level on 108.814 and after that is after that gonna rise uh, this is gonna be the edge of the safe zone exactly just like that by the way i really don't think the ustgpy is gonna fall to that support level i think it's gonna reverse with the very strong bullish momentum and the strength that the usd is gaining most likely the ustgpy is gonna reverse exactly from the level i have mentioned and hopefully this is what will gonna happen so the edge of the safe zone is gonna be about 55 pips and as i mentioned before the take profit level is gonna be uh in general eventually it's going to be about 134 pips hopefully going to be very good profit take profit level is going to be on 110.730 i would say there goes your signal for the usdgpy and i hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits usdchf now let's go to the daily chart and see the usdchf now it's very clear that the usdchf is facing a strong support level right here 
um, after this strong bullish momentum or the, the, the bullish candle and the breakout from that long term resistance on 0 0.93587, most likely the USDCHF right now, after seeing the, the pin bar here has appeared, the pin bar here indicates that most likely the USDCHF is going to continue the fall, retesting the broken resistance and also that support level has to keep its position again as a support. And this is exactly where we are going to start buying the USDCHF. We have to wait for the pair to fall for another 30 pips before we can start buying it. Therefore, um, USDCHF is good for the buy as 0 0.93587. And the take profit level is going to be, of course, the peak of the resistance right here eventually. So we, get, we are talking about 100 and actually let's, let's just make it more realistic and exactly like right, like that yes perfect so we are going to be um, uh, expecting about 137 pips profit from this trade so the take profit level gonna be 0 0.94922 now regarding the safe zone the safe zone of course has to be if we look here at the daily chart we are having right here a previous resistance which has been broken out from and eventually if the pair actually going to continue the fall, this is exactly where it's going to reverse. And therefore, I have to set my, my the edge of the safe zone exactly at that level right here. So we are talking about possibility of um, 55 pips, which is really fair enough. Guys, please remember, these are this is not a, a stop loss. The edge of the safe zone is not a stop loss. All right. It's, all, it's just telling you that the pair most likely is going to be ranging inside this level. So you can just be wa careful and watch your trade. You can make your stop loss a little bit below it. But don't make your stop loss exactly at the edge of the safe zone. Because the, it, it's called the edge of a safe zone for a reason. Because most likely the pair might actually hit that same level and then reverses. And some people sadly set the stop loss exactly right here at the edge of the safe zone. And that is wrong. Please make it a little bit below. If you if you must set a stop loss, make it just below the safe zone. So there goes your signal for the UCCHF. And I really hope it's going to work very well. And hopefully it will bring us lots of profits. Now let's check the gold. Now it's very important to mention here um, that on the last Friday, I have, I have sent this signal that we can start shorting the gold exactly from that level. Uh, on 1723.33 1, that was the deal of the day and as you can see let me just go to the one hour time frame the gold actually has reversed just 1.8 pips before reaching our entry point i personally have taken this trade and so many other people i receive on telegram uh, messages from members who said that they have received the uh, sorry they, they have entered this signal i think there was also a comment on youtube says that he has also entered the signal and we have made actually very good profits and i personally i closed the trade exactly right here uh exactly right here I, I remember i depended on that support level so actually actually i have closed personally the trade with 62 pips of profit but eventually it went in 105 pips of profit but sadly after that after reaching after almost very, getting very close to the take profit level just about 21 pips before reaching the take profit level they used the gold has actually rose and right now it is exactly on that's it's ranging right now look at that i have drawn here this support uh, uh, sorry this resistance trend line this resistance trend line and the gold right now is ranging on that level most likely under that pressure the gold is actually going to continue the fall eventually so therefore, let's go back to the uh, another chart. And let me just tell you that most likely the gold is going to actually fall exactly from that level. As you can see right here, my friends, on the four hour time frame, the gold actually has failed to break out from that uh, long term resistance on 1736.97, even right here. And right here, look at that perfection. The market uh, market actually has failed many times to break out of it. Then we can see here what we, what seems like a fake breakout. This is a fake breakout, and the market actually has triggered everyone, or has actually has tricked everyone, um, making us thinking that it's going to actually make a bullish breakout. But eventually, the market has went back to its normal routine or normal level, and again that resistance has kept its positions for so long. That's why I believe most likely the, the gold is going to continue the rise again on uh, opening on Monday. And after that, we can start shorting the gold 
we can start sorry short the gold exactly from that level and this time the take profit level has to be of course since we are moving here in, in a neutral channel as we can see the gold actually moving in a neutral channel and so far it's not moving in upper or down trend so therefore we cannot really decide but however uh, I'm going to depend on the strength of that resistance level to decide that I'm going to start shorting the gold exactly from that level of 1736.97 and my target has to be the lowest level of the support at 1718.98 so we are hopefully aiming about uh, 170 pips of profit now of course for the safe zone it has to be ranging just a little bit above that resistance uh, which is really fair enough of course i have i forgot that i'm analyzing uh, analyzing it on the four hour time frame let's go to the daily time frame now on the daily time frame we can see that the target has to be actually bigger than that if we look carefully right here on the previous uh, level uh, we can see that here we had a strong support level and most likely the gold is actually going to continue to fall all the way to hit the very same level of that support yes that is actually what i'm thinking exactly like that the gold if it's going to reverse e eventually on that resistance uh, most likely it's going to continue the fall for another almost 300 pips and by seeing these three candles one two three these three candles are a very strong indicator that the market is, is actually going to go for a bearish momentum because the they usually indicate a bearish reversal that's why i am most likely saying or expecting from the goal to continue the fall all the way to hit no, no, this support level and i don't care what's, what's going to happen later since actually i'm going to get my target so therefore let's go back to the four hour time frame and the gold is going to be good for the short right here let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone exactly like that and hopefully hopefully it's going to work very well of course uh the gold for the short at uh 1736 point i would say uh, 95 and the target is going to be on tech profit level 1705.40 so there goes your signals for this week and i'm expecting it to be a very good and very successful week and hopefully we will make all a uh, very good profit and hopefully we will enjoy uh, making profit with these signals of course guys i have to remind everyone to be very careful when you are uh, placing these trades anything can happen anything can change the outcome of these signals if anything happens of course i'm going to release a sooner uh, version of the midweek analysis so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching